Hey, how you doing today, guys? Um, there was a little bit of a change of plans. Uh, you guys know that I've been sick for probably about seven to ten days now. And, well, my wife decided that she wanted to make one of her family recipes for me. It, it was a soup. She was trying to help me feel better. And, well, yeah, that didn't go as planned. Because, as you can see... I got her sick. So, due to that problem, I am now making her soup. So, basically it's all of our leftover stuff that we had from Thanksgiving. We decided to have a ham this year, mainly because I wanted to have my, you know, lovely mac and cheese. You know, and mac and cheese doesn't really go good with turkey to me. I, I like to, you know, chop up my ham, put it in there. So, basically what we're doing, I'm, I've been at this for probably about an, a little over maybe an hour, hour and a half now. Um, I started probably about quarter after five. And as you can see, we're uh, at about 6.30. So, um, basically what we did was we took our ham bone, we put it in our pot, we're boiling it down, we're making the stock. I put a lot of the fatty parts of the ham in there, you know, just to build a little bit of flavor in there, you know, salt and pepper, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then once that kind of simmers down and it builds the stock that we want to help build flavor along with a, a few little things in there, uh, you know, as far as um, flavoring is concerned, it, you know, stuff like savory and you know allspice and little little oddball you know seasonings that just help build the stock everybody makes a different stock it depends on whatever you like in your stock so that's completely up to you whatever kind of flavor you want to build um and some of the other things that we have in there as you can see right here we have all of our chopped up ham that we had left over um you guys will know that butter is going to be a theme in everything i make i'm using canned green beans just because they cook quicker and i'm being lazy you know you use some heavy whipping cream in it just to kind of thicken up the broth a little bit we got our onions i'm going to cube up all these wonderful potatoes over here i'll put them in once it's almost done Ham goes in at the end once it's almost done. We'll have to pull out the spice ball at the end when it's almost done. So what I'll do is I'll come back to you guys in probably about another hour, maybe hour and a half once I have a, a good stock that I want for this. And at that point, we basically throw everything together, let it simmer for probably maybe 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we serve it. And um, as you can see, she is um, still. Yes, yeah. I'm so sick. Yes, she doesn't feel good. And, you know, she probably hates that I do that. But, hey, like I said, this is my everyday life. So this is going to be a channel for me. Um, and, I mean, if you really want to, there's my wonderful <laughs> cat. He is completely upset because he's like I was just cleaning myself leave me alone so yeah this is my life you know cats licking themselves wives sleeping on the couch dog in his crate because he can't control himself because my wife sneezes and me making dinner which is something that I love to do so it's not a big deal so I'll see you guys back in probably about an hour hour and 15 minutes and we'll uh, finish up the soup see you then all right, and here we go, guys. We're back. We're at uh, somewhere around 11.20, 11.30. So, well, 7, not 11. Um, so, at this point, I already put our potatoes in. I'm going to wait for it to come back to a boil again. Um, I'm going to also add the ham. I'm going to add the onions. I'm going to wait on the green beans since they're already cooked because they're canned. I'm going to put them in at the end for like the last five minutes or so just to warm them up. 
and we got to add the heavy whipping cream and my favorite butter got to add butter so at this point the starches are building and it's starting to thicken the broth and it's going to make it a little bit more of a firm broth rather than like chicken noodle soup it's going to be between kind of like a stew and a broth but it's all going to come together and it's going to play well in in the pot so they're all going to become friends you know kind of like my wife <laughs> she is now snow white <laughs> Got all my babies here. Yes. Um, don't know what to tell you. They love her. They do not like me at all. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is. So we're going to start adding stuff. And here we go. Sorry about the loud noises. I'm, I'm just trying to get you attached so you don't fall in my pot. I don't want you to go swimming in there. So, we already have our potatoes in. Now, at this point, as you can see, I, well, there you go. I still didn't take my ham bone out. I'm going to let that build flavor in there. I'll take that out at the end. I'll take the spice ball out right at the end, right before I serve it. You know, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Just letting everything build. Um, at this point, I'm going to add all my onions. Because my ham is already cooked because they're leftovers, I'm going to hold off on putting that in. I'll put that in with the green beans. So that can kind of warm up with the green beans since both of them are already cooked. And, you know, once again, don't cut yourself. They're sharp. That's what they're designed to do. So now I'm going to leave the lid off. I'm going to let it simmer down a little bit. I'm going to let it thicken because the potatoes are in there. The starches are all going to come together. I'm going to add my heavy cream. That's just going to, once again, make it a little bit thicker, a little bit richer. It's going to give you a little bit of that sweetness. I will add my butter at the end. And so... At this point, we're just going to let everything go. This will go along with the butter. I did make a mistake. It does go in at the very end. So we'll add that with the ham and the green beans. And, you know, heavy whipping cream, make sure that you shake it up because it does separate a little bit. So I will see you in probably about another 15, 20 minutes. We'll add everything and we'll get it served and plated up. See you then. All right, guys, welcome back. I already put the onions in, I added the butter, and now we're going to put in our cream. Once again, make sure you shake it up. Pour all that lovely cream in there. <clears throat> Gonna put our green beans in. Nothing special, put all the juice in there, it's gonna build flavor. Come on. There we go. And now we're going to add our ham. And there we go. We'll let that uh, boil for probably about five, ten minutes to warm everything up. And then we'll be good to go. And I'll see you at plating. All right. Here we go, guys. We're finally done. You know, you can see it's all done. You have all kinds of, like, goodness in here. You, you can see the butter on top. Yeah, that's my favorite. You can see over here, I pulled out the bones. I pulled out my little spice ball that I had in there. And I pulled out all the fat pieces. 
which is another reason why you have all that buttery looking fatty stuff on the top because I'm a firm believer in you know the fat is the best part of the animal so it's like bacon for every animal so and here you go that's what we got and you know because I love butter there you go bread and butter <laughs> It's the best thing to go with soup. So, just remember guys, anything you have in your fridge can make a decent meal. Anything that you want to eat is always going to be good. Not good for you, but it will be good. You will get nutrition from it. So, just remember, every day, if there's something you can learn, that will give you a little bit of knowledge. Every day that you get knowledge, it will make it for a better tomorrow. So, just remember... Every time you have knowledge, that is your edge for every day. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't, don't forget, you have to subscribe, hit the like button, and please come back and see again. And I will take every option that you guys want. I will cook anything. I love food. I eat. I just enjoy it. So please leave me some comments. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you like. And I'll see you next time. See ya.